give it a go. Good morning, it's Rita from Fidelity National Title, and for the next few weeks, Mercy and I are asking different brokers around the island what they're finding in their marketplace to help you and give a gauge. So look who I found. Al Chiarella. From? Coldwell Banker, Island Properties. And how long have you been licensed for? 32 years. And Al sells mostly upcountry North Shore properties. What are you finding in the marketplace? Busy. Busy marketplace. Pendings are approaching 600. I don't know if I've seen 600 pendings in Maui in a long, long time. Um, anything around a million dollars in good condition is uh, a sought after property. I noticed that Kula is a, f a fourth highest area in total dollar volume through fe February of this year for uh, on the island. So are you finding that most homes Upcountry is selling faster than North Shore, obviously. Oh, I don't know about that. I think it's probably, um, Kula is definitely a little more sought after than the North Shore for a lot of people due to climate. Okay, and anything else you want to share with us? Uh, no, just a real healthy market right now. It's fun to be, fun to be doing real estate. Okay, thank you, and on to the next. Aloha. Hi guys, we found Fred Hayward from Fred Hayward Realty here on West Maui to tell us about the market. So Fred, what do you see happening um, upcountry or North well, Shore Well, it's interesting. If you're negotiating property under a million dollars, uh, get ready for a horse race. Quite frankly, I'm kind of frustrated because I've had my last seven offers I wrote on houses get rejected and all of them were at or over asking price and I've never had that happen before in 43 years of real estate here. But sign of the times, low inventory, low interest rates and crazy strong buyers coming in from all over the place. It doesn't quite show on the volumes but that's probably because we don't have enough inventory to sell them but we do have a lot of a lot of activity out there and it's kind of frustrating and but you should turn the camera around a minute and show them where we're sitting oh okay oh yeah good idea we are in the most beautiful home i've ever been in ever 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 25 million dollar home here hello it's only the, it's only the first of like 11 20 million dollar home <laughs> i haven't been in the rich ones like you have oh <laughs> yeah right <laughs> well thank you fred and we're off to the next one Thanks, thank guys. you yeah thank you so nice. much Look who we found, Gary Morris from Coal Banker Island Properties, top producer there. Hey Gary, can you kind of give us a little bit insight of what you're seeing here in the market? Well, I've been in the business for 35 years and I'm setting records, so I'd wow, say the market's awesome. pretty darn good. How so? I mean, how do you find South Maui? What's, what's busy out there? Well, South Maui is where my office is, and so that's where I spend most of my time. But uh, I believe it's happening all over the country. I mean, I'm from what I'm hearing everywhere else as well. It's not just where I where I work, and it's not just me. <laughs> Condos, homes, price ranges, anything? Any insight? Uh, you know, it seems like things all over the board, from the lowest price $250,000 condos to the really expensive, you know, nice properties, you know, $4 million and, and up are, are selling too. All from here? Oh no, buyers are, I, I even have Canadian buyers, believe it or not, nice. with the crazy dollar the way it is. You're the second yeah. broker to tell us that. Yeah. Yeah, so, lots of cash or loans? Yeah, um, more loans on the lower oh. price stuff, sure. But um, of course, like always, the more expensive stuff, people just write a check. Well, okay, <laughs> thanks so much for your time. Yep, you bet. Thanks. Okay. See you next one. Hey there, we are with the owner um, and broker of Wilder Realty, a boutique of Windermere. Here we have Tom Tizak. And Tom, what do you see happening here in the South Maui market or Wailua and Makena areas? Well, you know, our market's been really strong. Last month we had an amazing month with, I think, 45 or 50 escrows going into place. Uh, the market has really been on fire, but it is a little bit unique. We're seeing some of our developments that are languishing a little bit, um, and then other ones that are just out of inventory. So it's a unique time in our market. But we are seeing a lot of buyers coming in. The other really great thing that we're seeing is uh, we're seeing a lot more Canadian buyers coming in, willing to start spending some money. I think they're finally getting re used to the exchange rate, uh, and it is really what has been standard and customary for the last 30 or 40 years, the two-year aberration of a higher exchange rate for Canadian buyers is now passed. 
and they're getting used to being cold and miserable in Canada and finally <laughs> deciding I want my place in paradise. So can I just ask a quick question, like what do you see in the um, average market and then what do you see happening in the high-end market? So our average market, I think under a million dollars, the this five, six, seven hundred thousand dollar home sales are just, you can't keep them. Uh, if you price it remotely close to right, there's multiple offers and there's a lot of activity. When we start hitting over the million dollar price range in Wailea, as of today, I think there's nothing under a million and a half dollars. So that market has been, the prices have moved up. There's not a ton of activity, but we're seeing the lower end pricing just the uh, products disappear in that market. Um, well, contra 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 contrary, contrary, contrary to that, in Kaimalu, we went from just four listings a few months back to now we're at about 14 listings. Wow. How many pendings are there in there? You know what? I don't know. Great question. Okay. Just Good question. Well, could you find out and record that <laughs> yeah. later after okay, you cover will. me? <laughs> Thanks. All right, well, thank you again, Tom Tizak, for your insight. And we're off to the next one. Hey, it's Mercy. As Rita mentioned, we'll be going throughout the island and talking to different agents so that they can share with you what they're experiencing right now in this marketplace. So I'm um, here at Fidelity. Just remember, we have so many tools that can help you build your business. So contact me, contact Rita, and we're more than happy to share with you um, what we have and what your needs are and put them together and help you out. So um, don't forget, next week, three more people, same channel, same time. See ya.